NFL free agency is right around the corner, so today I'm predicting where the top free agents are going to go. We'll start off at the most important position as the quarterbacks. Obviously, the number one quarterback in this year's free agency class is Kirk Cousins. And it's mainly rumored that he is going to go to the Falcons. I think he's just looking to buy a house there, which that could completely be lies. But for me, I think he's going to the Denver Broncos. I do think Sean Payne wants to draft this guy. But in free agency-wise, I think he would want Kirk Cousins the best. And also, I think Kirk Cousins would love to play for Sean Payne because he's proven to have one of the greatest offensive minds. Now, talking about the Atlanta Falcons, I know he's not a free agent, but I think they are going to land Justin Fields. Like I said, it's between him and Kirk Cousins for me, but I think this will be the perfect spot for Justin Fields. Actually having some weapons now like Kyle Pitts and Drake London and having Beach Tower Robinson in the backfield as well. Now for a guy that was done dirty recently in Denver, we have Russell Wilson. I have them going to the Minnesota Vikings. Now, personally, I do think the Vikings want a better quarterback, and I hope they do just for Justin Jefferson's sake, but at the same time, Justin Jefferson is looking to reset the wide receiver market very soon, and I don't think they want to play like a top dollar for a quarterback. So I think they do sign Russell Wilson for cheap and probably draft a quarterback this year or maybe wait for next year and he'd be that kind of bridge quarterback to bring the new guy in. I have two more quarterbacks, but they're kind of like on the back end of things. First, I have the Raiders bringing in Gardner Minshew. I think it'll be very likely that somebody like Bo Nix falls to them and they might take him and use Gardner Minshew for that bridge quarterback once again. And a lot of Raiders fans might not like this, but Gardner Minshew actually played really good last season. I hope he gets a chance to fully take on the reins on the offense this year. And then I have the Patriots just picking up Jameis Winston once again probably that bridge quarterback or just kind of that veteran backup that just can kind of lead along a rookie quarterback at his stage. Now next up I want to talk about the running back position because we have a lot of great running backs in this class and out of all these players number one is obviously Saquon Barkley. I think he's going to want to go somewhere that he can uh, win because he's got all the money and got everything else but he hasn't been on a team that's been able to win yet. For me that's the Houston Texans. I mean Pierce didn't really do all that much this past year. Devin Singletary did pretty good for the situation he's in but they don't have an all-star running back and like I said for Saquon Barkley this will be a perfect fit. Next up we have Derrick Henry and again I do think he's going to want to go somewhere that he can potentially win a ring because he doesn't have many more years in the NFL probably and I have him going to the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens also need a running back that can be fully healthy through a whole entire season. Also with this situation Derrick Henry doesn't have to be like that do-it-all running back like he was in Tennessee and that's very important for his age. And imagine Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry back there in the same backfield that's going to be some defense is not nightmares. Next up, I have Josh Jacobs going to Chicago Bears. Now, I don't think the Chicago Bears are necessarily in a position that hugely needs a running back, but the way the running back market is going, I don't think they have to pay too much for Josh Jacobs. And plus, that would be a huge asset for Caleb Williams when he's coming in just to be able to lean on a running back like Josh Jacobs. And then I have Austin Eckler going to the Minnesota Vikings. I think this is a decent fit for him as the Minnesota Vikings. Not a top team now without Kirk Cousins, but not really a bottom team neither. I just want to run through some of the other top players that I don't want to necessarily talk about their position. We have Calvin Ridley going to the Kansas City Chiefs. Obviously, after this last season, we know the Chiefs actually need a wide receiver one now for Patrick Mahomes. For Calvin Ridley, it's any wide receiver dream scenario to play for um, Patrick Mahomes at this point, and he can finally make it to the playoffs as well. Because I don't think he's made it to the playoffs once his whole entire career. I'm going to stay with the wide receiver market. I have Hollywood Brown going to the Tennessee Titans. To pair up with his old teammate, DeAndre Hopkins. I just think this would be a perfect fit for that type of offense. They don't necessarily have a speed wide receiver that kind of stretch the field and Hollywood Brown is a perfect fit for that and plus they finally get Will Levis some help to see if he's truly their quarterback of the future or if they need to move on. Now let's run through a few defensive players. We have Chris Jones going to the Houston Texans. I really do think he's going to stay with the Kansas City Chiefs but that is kind of boring. With D'Amico Ryan's turning the Houston Texans franchise like at a complete 180 I figured a lot of people would want to go play for him especially defensive players as well and I think Chris Jones will get a huge boost to that Texans defense that is already really good. I have Christian Wilkins going to the Chicago Bears. I think the Bears want to find somebody opposite of Montez Sweat to help the rest of the pass. So we've seen as of recently that the Bears aren't afraid to make big moves or pay big money for the players they want on their team. I have Daniel Hunter going to the Detroit Lions. Aiden Hutchinson is obviously one of the best pass rushers right now in the game, but Daniel Hunter opposite him. You can imagine how much pressure they would get on the quarterback together. And then I have Bryce Huff going to the Carolina Panthers. Obviously, Bryce Huff had a huge season last year, not even starting in most of the games and had 10 sacks. He hasn't had that consistently throughout his whole entire year, so I think he'll be looking to prove a one, a kind of cheap, kind of expensive, prove it all deal. I think the Panthers need a pass rusher opposite of Brian Burns to see what he can really do and see if they want to extend him to a longer term contract. I think this is a perfect fit for both of these sides. That's my free agency predictions, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.